clown on me now Are you proud of me now? Are you proud of me now? Look down on me now What's up, gang? If I remember, I tell y'all, I know what I'm doing today. The first time I got arrested, right? Arrested. I was shocked too. I was shocked by it too. Like, what? Me getting arrested? Nah. Well, yeah, I got arrested. Let me see. <clears throat> we, no, I was at Flint about 12 o'clock at night on my way home. <clears throat> on my way home. And I turned onto the street. It always happened. They had a U-turn and I get pulled up. So they had flicked me. I'm like, oh, man. I'm just trying to go home. <clears throat> but, you know, I didn't think that of it. I thought it was just a regular pullover, like always. Like, say, registration, please. That's why. So, boom. I was wrong. Three officers hopped out at the same time. Three. Yeah, three officers. I was like, what? I said, dang, something must have happened bad. They trying to find somebody. Something happened. Somebody going to jail, but it wasn't going to be me. So, she hopped out the car. The female officer was like, who car is that? I said, it's my car. She said, what's next? I said, trade my answer. She said, um, you have a warrant for your arrest? I said, no, I don't, officer. I ain't did nothing. I ain't got no warrant for my arrest. She said, yes, sir. She said, let me see your driver's license. I gave it to her. She said, yes, Trayvon Anderson. I said, nah, not this Trayvon Anderson. Probably a different Trayvon Anderson, but not this Trayvon Anderson. She said, uh, <clears throat> she said, get out the car. Put your hands up first. Like, she gave me too many things to do at once. So I just tried to do both of them at the same time. I don't know how, but she said, face the opposite way too. So I'm like, she, she doing too much. Like, what to do next? So then I did all that. I got put in handcuffs. She had, um, chipped me. The head to toe. He did it for head chipped me from head to toe fast. While I'm still getting questioned, <clears throat> then another officer, the female officer, had checked my car inside and outside fast. I don't know how she did it. The other officer had checked my ID and asked me questions still. I'm like, dang. I was in handcuffs. They was asking me question after question after question. I said, I don't know. I didn't do it. I didn't do nothing. They was like, when last time I been to Kalamazoo? I said, I ain't been to Kalamazoo before. I don't have no reason to go to Kalamazoo. They were like, yes, you have. How you gonna tell me where I, how you gonna ask me a question and say I'm lying? That made no sense at all. <clears throat> then after that, they were like, when the last time I've been in jail? I ain't never been in jail before. Like, when the last time I've been arrested? I ain't never been arrested before either. They don't care, ask me question after question, 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 question. I'm like, okay, question, question, question. I'm like, come on, what's the question? They keep asking. And then it was cold out there, and I'm just standing in the middle of the road. Just again, interrogated basically, because they thought I was lying. And then they said, they said, they say, they said I got into it with a police officer up there in Kalamazoo. So now it wasn't me, officer. It was not me. I don't know who it was, but it was not me. Like, I knew I was straight. I was not, <clears throat> I was not going down. Like, I knew I was good. I knew I was straight. I was in handcuffs for something I didn't do. That's the bad part. I think it was because I was black, to be honest, because it was two white officers and a black officer. But they probably overpowered him to come pull me over. That's what I think. But he gonna say he believed me. I just gotta make them believe me. You don't believe me. You wanna see me go to jail too, just like them. I don't care. Cops are all cops the same. I know it's some good cops there, but it's some bad cops too. I ain't saying every cop bad, but every cop ain't good either. So yeah, he wanted to see me go to jail too. I already knew it. <clears throat> and then, so after all that, he kept asking me questions. I'm like, I ain't do nothing. I did. Like, so, after all that, they still asking me questions. I'm just trying to go home and get my own bed and go to sleep. I ain't trying to sleep in no jail bed. I ain't trying to be in no cage. I ain't trying to be in nothing. I want to eat my own food at the crib, so I'm just thinking, like, man, I hope I ain't going to jail. I hope I'm not going to jail. I'm just thinking, like, God, just help me out the situation, because I know I ain't doing that wrong. I ain't trying to go to court. I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm trying to go home and sleep in my own comfortable bed or my own AC, everything. Watch TV. Uh, so after that, they asked me, uh, what's my social security number? I told them, 
doesn't, oh, we got the wrong person. You're right, you got the wrong person, because I didn't do nothing wrong. I don't have them to the life you bought. I was trying to go home and get my own bed. I told them that, and I was like, oh, okay. But I still think it was because I was black. I don't think I had the wrong person. Because don't nobody got the same, uh, don't nobody got the same first name, middle name, and last name. My la my middle name is Desha Anderson. I mean, my middle name is Desha. My last name is Anderson. Don't nobody got the whole trade line, Desha Anderson. And our birthday at the same minute. They said everything was the same, what's up for the last for our social security number. They lied. They lied. They tried to get me because I was black. They tried to get me good. But you know, they ain't get me. <coughs> They said just laugh it off and go home. Nah, because y'all was in the other prison. If I had y'all in here, because y'all wouldn't like it. Y'all wouldn't tell me to go laugh off and have fun. Nah, y'all wouldn't. So, but now, nah, I got to go to hand because I hopped in my car, went my own bed, went to sleep. I called my mama too. My mom just got put in the hand because I was going to go downtown. Because she like it wasn't. I ain't got no reason to lie. I was mad. I was like, no reason to lie to you. Like, why I lie about the situation? I got no reason to lie. Then my brother, he had to go to school that morning because it was 12 o'clock at night. So it was actually like Friday morning. He had to go to school that morning. I was supposed to take him. If I went to jail, I was supposed to take him. My mom was in Texas for like two weeks, I think, something like that. She was in Texas, so it was hard, man. I was supposed to take him. If I went to jail, he would have been at home chilling to sleep. <clears throat> but, you know, I guess... I learned a lot from that night. Like, don't be all driving late. But I still do be all driving late, but just not on the north side of the Because, you know, you can get pulled over again. Might go to jail. You might get shot. You might get robbed. Anywhere. You can get robbed anywhere, put up anywhere. But on my side of the time, I said, nah, I'm like good over here. On that side of the time, nah, I'm not good over here. Man. It's just bad. But that's the end of the video. I got arrested. Probably won't get arrested again. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up <clears throat> and don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. Game. Yeah.